Hi folks, my name is Daniel Cubas, and today I would like to talk about the white cane. What is it? How to use it? Who teaches blind people how to use this? And the proper ways that, or the improper ways I should say, that people call this. So let's start. What is a white cane? Uh, first of all, let me say that because I am blind, as you all may know, I am not able to do certain things such as able to see if the camera is right, if the image is blurry and stuff like that. So this may not work. But if you're able to see this, it's a cane. Uh, it might look like a bundle of sticks, but it's called a cane or a white cane. Please do not call it a stick, a wand, a rod, a pole, nor any, nor, nor any other name that you want to come up with. It's disrespectful, just as it would be disrespectful if I would call your vehicle, a boat, a ship, an airplane, a helicopter, when it was none of those things. Okay, so with that said, let me show you how it's used. And again, because there it may not be a good lighting here, I don't know if this is going to work. So, the cane consists of generally four or five sections, sometimes six. It all depends. So the way that you open it is there's an elastic band and you're supposed to unwrap it and then I have to be careful here because there are people living below me and uh, I don't want to disturb them in any way so we have to do it that way there is a tip at the bottom which I will show you um, so the way a cane works is by grabbing it either with your right or left hand. I'm left handed. So you sweep it from left to right. And I, you can do it really close. There's supposed to be a contact with the floor and or sidewalk. But I'm not doing that because, as I said, there are people who are living below me and I don't want to cause any sort of sound. And my uh, place has hardwood floors. Okay, so let me fold it now. I'll place my microphone on my lap. And the way that you fold it is by grabbing each section folding it and then wrapping the elastic band around the bundle after you do that you just stow it and this has a special pouch that it's you can be stow it um I use a bag to stow this, not a pouch, because that can even be uncomfortable. How do you measure the size of cane that you will use? You can do several things. One of them is um, get your size. So the way that they measure this is by um, using your sternum, and that's how they measure the cane. The advantage of having a longer cane is that you can see or feel whichever word you would like to use really doesn't matter. Uh, if there's a certain drop, let's say, the cane can tell you before you reach it yourself and risk falling. That's the advantage of a long cane. or to measure stairs, let's say, 
your cane will reach the stairs before you do versus if you get a shorter cane it will not give you enough time to stop a longer cane will so that's the only advantage to that there are different tips as well to the cane i don't know if you could see this this is what's called a marshmallow tape uh, uh tip uh there are various kinds of tips there's a pencil tip which as its name suggests it shaped like a pencil there are also jumble tips which are bigger than the one that i have here and they all provide different uh experiences for the cane user there are some people who do not like to use canes and like using other methods of traveling in my opinion those are dangerous so please don't do that if you can avoid it always use your cane there's no shame nor you should feel embarrassed if you're blind it's something that we have to live with and this is what blindness awareness month is for is to teach other people how we live on a day-to-day -day basis with that said um i will be speaking more on the cane um oh before i forget so who teaches this um they're called orientation and mobility instructors so the first thing that you do is if you're born blind you learn how to use a cane at the age of six or seven so just when you're in first or second grade and they'll teach you how to use it around your house and then once you get familiar with that you go to your neighborhood and you do all sorts of things after some time you do not need to use a cane around your house because you have memorized it um, the streets are a bit hard again there are some people as I said before who do not use a cane and are able to walk using other methods but again that's dangerous uh, if possible you can use a guide dog which is just as helpful as a cane but again use your cane as a backup always remember when you don't use something you may forget it and then you need training all over again the training usually lasts for about six to seven years it all depends uh, if you're in a new environment if you change cities if you go to a bigger campus there's a lot of reasons why you may need uh, training not necessarily on how to use a cane but you might need training on how to navigate a new environment as I have said before that is it for now if you have any more questions uh, suggestions leave them down in the comment section remember that I'm posting some of these videos on Facebook as well just so those people can be interested in the channel and if you do think that this content might be of interest to anybody else make sure to share subscribe and like and i will talk to you soon thank you very much bye